wetlands. Every wetland cannot be declared as Ramsar site. For the declaration of Ramsar site, which are actually the wetlands of international importance, there are certain criteria which are set by the Ramsar Convention. In criteria, the thing is important is the animal, the support of the plants, and the water qualities. So, this is the uh, biodiversity which supports which is supported by the wetland uh, the uniqueness of the wetland the flora the fauna as well as the limnology of that wetland that means the water quality of that wetland there are nine criteria which are if present the wetland is considered to be a Ramsar site or a wetland of international importance in nine criteria, two uh, major groups are divided. They are designated as Group A and Group B. Uh, within the groups, the criteria are sometimes based on specific fish. The criteria is sometimes based on specific birds. Criteria is based on the type of water uh, present in that particular wetland. Uh, regarding the Group A, these are the sites containing representative, rare or unique wetland types. Group A may uh, criteria 1 included hai, or by definition, if a wetland contains a representative, rare or unique example of natural or near natural wetland type found within the appropriate biogeographic region. Group B these are the sites of international importance for conserving biological diversity. For the group B, following criteria based on the species and ecological communities. In the next the criteria, criteria 1 is added to group A. In the importance of species or ecological community. Ke hai. Criteria 2, a wetland should be considered internationally important if it supports vulnerable, it supports endangered, it supports critically endangered species or threatened ecological community. Criterion 3, a wetland should be considered internationally important if it supports population of plants and or animals important for maintaining the biological diversity of a particular biogeographic region. Criteria 4 Again, a wetland is considered to be internationally important if plants or animals at a critical stage in their life cycle. Uh, in any stage of their life cycle, they found refuge uh, at a particular wetland, that wetland is considered to be internationally important. They are providing refuge during the adverse conditions. Now, the rest of the uh, criteria, they are specific and they are based on the water birds. That includes criteria 5. A wetland is considered to be internationally important if it regularly supports more than 20,000 or uh, more birds. Criteria 6 A wetland should be considered internationally important if it regularly supports 1% of the individual in a population of one species or subspecies of the water bird. Now the criteria is depends upon the specific fish. This is criteria number 7. A wetland should be considered internationally important if it supports a significant proportion of indigenous fish, subspecies, species or family life history stages. This criteria also includes species interactions, population that are representative of wetland benefits. They are of the values and thereby contribute to uh, biological diversity. Criteria number 8 
a wetland should be considered internationally important if it is an important source of food for fish spawning ground and nursery as well as it provides a migration pathway on which fish stocks either within the wetland or elsewhere the last criteria is or based upon the other taxa so this is criteria number 9 a wetland is considered to be internationally important if it supports 1% of the individual in a population of one species or subspecies of wetland dependent non avian species 